Job creation continues to be the focus of ads from Democratic nominee for Governor Mary Burke. Her latest spot looks at layoffs, and political reporter Jess Garp has the background behind the numbers. It is tonight's Reality Check. In her latest ad, Mary Burke is focusing in on last month to make the case that jobs are leaving this state. July 2014. The Roundies Cops Distribution Center is closing. Sealed Air Corps will be cutting 300 jobs as well. 600 workers told today their jobs will be gone by the end of the week. This needs clarification. These three companies are laying off workers, but let's give you the context to them leaving. Roundies is cutting some 200 jobs near Stevens Point. It's fallout from a sell-off of grocery stores in Minnesota, which the distribution center in Wisconsin supported. Sealed Air Corporation says 300 jobs will leave Sturdivant's diversity plant over the next three years, largely the result of North Carolina offering the company some $40 million in tax breaks to move its jobs to its home state. And in Milwaukee, Cargill is laying off 600 workers. They say it's because fewer beef cattle are being harvested in Wisconsin. And while those circumstances are individual to each of those companies, Mary Burke is trying to make it seem as if it's the governor's fault. Scott Walker promised 250,000 jobs. Instead, Wisconsin fell to dead last in Midwest job growth, with over 1,000 layoffs announced in July alone. This also needs clarification. As we've noted before, Wisconsin is actually 11th of 12 states in the Bureau of Labor Statistics technical definition of the Midwest. Missouri's job growth was lower. But it is true that more than 1,000 layoffs were announced in the state in July, 1,046 to be exact. But in spite of the layoffs, there have been job gains. According to the VLS, 3,200 private sector jobs were created in July. I'm Jessica Arp with this News 3 Reality Check.